Welcome to the journey. This is episode two, very crucial part. We're gonna make buttercream and it's gonna hold the wafers together. Plus I imagine it tastes awesome. Delicious. And just as crucial, we're gonna talk about their web presence and just hear some of the challenges that they may have with their web presence. See how we can help out. All right, welcome back. Neely here with Evie from All Purpose Cakes Co. We're gonna go to the next level with this cake. In the last episode, Emma talked about just the business itself, how y'all got started and made some wafers. And basically the focus of this episode is that next level. The, the buttercream butter cream. is the next level. Same thing with your website and your web presence. Yeah. But before we get started, what's kind of the first steps with this buttercream? Okay, well, the first thing is we're gonna need all the egg yolks. Um, that we separated from the egg whites that went into the wafer. Okay. So that we'll need. Um, of course, we're gonna need a double broiler. We're kind of waiting for that water to boil. Um, we're gonna put in um, sugar and cocoa powder. Um, we like using organic fair trade cocoa powder, 100%. Um, it's just non-GMO and better kind of ingredient. Awesome, so with your with your business and everything mm -hmm. else, like a big step is making that website. Where Absolutely. are you at with that journey? Uh, I wish we were further on, okay. um, but what we did was we went on the GoDaddy website and it was really helpful. We watched all the tutorials. We kind of have something put together, but I'm sure with your help, we can do so much better. What do you envision for the website and just your, your site itself? Like when someone goes okay. there, what do you want them to see? Well, first of all, we want them to hear about our story. We want them to know why we're doing this. We want them to be able to um, follow our journey. So we were looking at um, putting blog posts up there, okay. um, advertising the people who've helped us along the way, all those mentors and business partners that we're collaborating with. And, um, and showing off our cake. Perfect, well, let's get started with this. Okay, so. so do I just dump it all in and then go? Um, Never done this before. Okay, well, <laughs> the water tell. is starting to boil. So you want to put in all our egg yolks. Okay. Drop it in there. Use the spatula to clear off that plate. Look, I'm a natural. There you go. <laughs> and then, all right, good job. Now let's put in the sugar. Sugar. Just dump it in there. Like a salt bay? No, just no, everything no. all at <laughs> once. <laughs> and put in the cocoa powder. Perfect. All right. Okay, so now what you want to do is to whisk it while it's um, cooking, basically. Perfect. So what we like about this um, method is one, it cooks the egg yolk. So we're sure that, you know, we avoid salmonella. That's always important. And um, you temper the sugar so you won't get the granules in your buttercream. So with uh, the business itself, like in a, in a perfect world, where mm -hmm. do you really see it in like a year from now? Well, the reason that I started this business is a bit more personal. Um, I have a daughter who has special needs. Um, on top of that, she has cerebral palsy and epilepsy. Um, and could not have sugar, gluten, or dairy. What happened though is um, she couldn't even celebrate a birthday. We couldn't even celebrate with cake, couldn't even celebrate with ice cream. So um, it was really near and dear to me when Val came up with this idea of coming up with a cake that was gluten-free, sugar-free, and dairy-free. I'm like, you know, aha moment right there. This yeah. is gonna be perfect. Um, so part of the Part of the business strategy is to employ my daughter and people like her who have a hard time getting a job. So if I was a visitor and I was trying to go to your website, mm -hmm. what do you want me to do? I think what we want to do is for people to get to know us mm -hmm. and get to know the story, obviously, um, but really to connect with us. Um, that's, that's part of how we want this business to go is really to connect people. And we feel that cakes and food really do that. I love that because yeah. I, I think cakes, I think like celebrations and yes, parties and big absolutely, gatherings. Absolutely, absolutely. You, you just have to smile when there's a cake, right? Especially <laughs> if it's good. Absolutely, smile and eat it. Okay, what? let's check our... Because I've been stirring yeah. forever now. Okay, I think we're good. 
Good job. So what we'll need to do now is mix it all with the butter. We, let's wait for it to cool a little bit and then we'll get to that. All right. So these, this, the butter that we use in our cake um, is vegan butter. Mm -hmm. um, so that for those that don't want the dairy, um, but for this particular cake, we're using organic butter. Awesome. Yeah. Now, you mentioned that you want to sell online. Is it something that you want to distribute and sell globally or just like the local area? Um, we definitely want small batch um, artisan cakes. That's kind of the business model. Mm -hmm. um, we were thinking of selling to um, coffee shops, okay. especially those that, because as Val was saying, every time you go to a coffee shop, I think we found that only 5% of them sell a gluten-free option. Mm -hmm. And so we'd want to get out that way as well, but still be able to sell direct to consumers through our website. Okay, so kind of a, an interesting partnership there. I think yeah. not a lot of people think about it is you can have the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. You can sell to consumers, which is the everyday okay. person, mm -hmm. and then partner with businesses that can really yeah. amplify your reach. I Absolutely, yeah. Our buttercream is halfway there. Halfway there, all right. Pour it into the mixer bowl. I'm real good at pouring. There you go. There you go. Well, that's the important part about the buttercream. Um, you can't stop moving. We have to keep um, stirring it and mixing it to, to make here. sure that it doesn't cook. All right, so we can put that into our mixer. There we go, and start it. Okay, so right. you want to put in the butter. By this time, the butter should be softened. You have to have left it out um, for at least three hours so okay. that it's room temperature. Now, what do we do? Um, tablespoon by tablespoon, drop it in there. One thing I learned about baking is you really have to be patient. I'm not exactly known for my patience, but I'm learning. I think that's the same thing with business too though, right? Like. I think we uh, we always get stuck on, we want that instant gratification. Yep. But I'm sure you know that starting a business is hard and it oh, takes yeah, a ton absolutely. of patience. Absolutely. As a visitor to your website or someone like interested in mm -hmm. these types of cake, what are some things that I might search for online? Are there, like hmm. key phrases or? Um, well, for sure, we want to sh pop up with um, gluten-free, sugar-free, um, keto friendly. We also want to be found as a woman owned business. That's really important to us. Well, how are we doing there? Hey, it looks great. This is a great looking buttercream right here. All right. Publisher brought towels. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a great consistency. Um, I have a pretty good teacher, so. Oh, well, he did good, everyone. Look at that. So, okay, now we're gonna put it in a piping bag and start piping it into our cake. All right, thank you so much, Evie, for taking us through how to make buttercream. You're welcome. And talking about just your, your business and your website. Stay tuned for the next episode where we're gonna actually make this cake. We're gonna try it, I hope. Yes, and absolutely taste it. Perfect, stay tuned. Stay tuned.